Well, it looks like Made in USA is starting to take hold again. Actually, I saw an article about, this was actually Made in USA. I was surprised. You know, this is a Walmart mainstays thing. And it says, usually they're China. See, Made in USA. I heard that they're starting to get some bids from uh, manufacturers. But as we see the, um, I think the, temp the pendulum on the dollar is going to start swinging the other way. And uh, you're going to see weakness in the dollar. Not like total weakness. Not like the way they're going to exaggerate. But... Just a normal pendulum swing. But it's going to make foreign goods a lot more expensive. And, uh, you know, considering that Walmart's been picking up. So I, I didn't need to pick this up. I just bought it because it was made in USA. It's probably even made in the South. It was probably made on uh, one General Lee Drive, for all I know. Hey, this is my workbench out here, so that's side. But, uh, hey, you know what? You know what? I'm going to tell you that. Uh, I think the pendulum actually is swinging. And uh, what's going to happen here is... As the dollar freaking starts going down, it's not going to be like overnight. You're not going to see, you know, it's a tide. You know, you see waves. You're going waves in and out, in and out, in and out. But eventually, the tide's going that way, right? You know, it doesn't go out like this. There's waves. That's exactly what happens. So anyway, um, yeah, it looks like the pendulum's swinging. I was very surprised. I didn't even need to buy this thing, but I said, made in USA. I said, holy shit, this was never made in the USA, these rugs. These are always made in China, so... You know, I read they were train changing their their plans, and um, you know that's good. So you can actually even go to China Mart. Maybe we'll have to call it USA Mart now. Oh my God, and uh, get whatever we need to do. So uh, that's a good sign for the economy because uh, the reality situation is the numbers will catch up with reality, and what is actually produced with your own hands here in the USA is what counts, right? And if you actually go back to square one during the time of the Revolution of America, 1776. Um, most industry was not even small businesses. It was called cottage industry. Like something like, you know, this is not my industry or anything. I'm just kind of messing around with my own car here. But say, for instance, I was fixing a car. I'd be fixing a car for somebody one at a time. That would be my cottage industry. Not even a small business. That's what most of America was. And maybe it'll go back to that. Who knows? Uh, the only thing we got to worry about is the EPA. Mm, anyway. <laughs> Well, more on that later. So, it looks like Made in USA is having a comeback. This surprised me because I always saw these rugs were made in China over there. And I heard they were switching some of their stuff. So, if they're if that big corporate entity, Walmart, is starting to switch around, starting to, uh, it's probably a, perhaps a trend that's going to follow in a lot of other big corporate entities. And bids are out there from, from other people to uh, buy USA products to put in these big box stores that are big corporations. And you know these are you know these rugs aren't made in some big corporation. These are made in smaller places. And uh, yeah, actually, I can tell you what. Probably a lot of the industrial output is probably going to be down south on a like place like one General Lee Road <laughs> Drive, whatever. So anyway, anyway, that's some good news. Some good news because numbers are one thing. Numbers make you feel good, but reality is another thing altogether.